What's up, family? It's your boy built on the budget on a cool afternoon. Been working all day, but uh, I'm back with another video. How y'all doing today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Want to show y'all a little update. I said I wasn't going to make this uh, a camper channel, but I do want to kind of keep because I've seen a lot of interest in our uh, vintage camper that we bought, I want to kind of give y'all a little update on what we done done. Uh, just a little brief update, not a whole lot of information. I hope y'all kind of enjoy it. Well, y'all know that this camper going to go behind Armstrong, my 65 uh, C10, and, my, and it's going to be blue and white. I'm just going to show y'all, I'm working a little bit on some graphics. Now, I don't know how easy y'all are going to be able to see this on this camera. But you see the graphic that I got down the side in that little beige tape. And all I'm doing is, is trying to lay it out so I can uh, clean it up. And I get me some real good tape tomorrow. And hopefully I can get it painted. Uh, you see the little detail on the back I kind of hope it's showing up pretty good it don't look good from where I see uh, I can see it better with my natural eyes but uh, maybe if I come down through here y'all can uh, but yeah I wanted to lay that graphic out because I want to see a little change on this thing to kind of add a little flavor to it. Now, we want it to stay vintage looking so it'll match the truck we got parked down there. But uh, I'm not looking to have a $25,000 paint job put on a vintage camper. I just wanted to kind of make it look presentable and let it match my truck. So. That's what I got right there. Um, did a little work on the inside too. Yeah, you can see that tape now a lot better. But that's the graphic that I got laid out. And I'm gonna clean it up, scuff it up in there pretty good. I probably even shoot me a little primer in there and then I'm gonna shoot it just like I'm doing my uh, 65, but let me show y'all a little bit about what's going on on the inside. Now, of course, y'all know that I got to watch my own channel uh, in here. Y'all see that going down there? Well, this is one of the things that we doing uh, let me catch it coming up the hill. Okay. In here, it used to be a cabinet. Uh, it used to be a cabinet, right? Um, it used to be a cabinet when you first come in the door. That cabinet right there, it used to go all the way up to the ceiling. And I thought that it was kind of closed in. And uh, so what we done was we cut the cabinet in half, modified the door, which you, you don't see a handle on it because that's where I modified the door. And... Uh, and made a, a counter out of it. And that's where we're gonna mount a flat screen on a swivel so that when we're sitting at the dining room table, we'll be able to swivel it around and see it. Now where I'm standing at right now is actually where the bed is gonna go. From here to there, uh, with, that's the storage. But it's gonna be a full size bed. Now, when we bought this camper, 
it was no surprise because it was disclosed to us that it had a leak. And so when we got it home, I pulled the ceiling out of it. And sure enough, they had did some patching up in the roof and it was leaking right there as well as over the top of the cabinet, which you might can't see it up in there, which I stuck the cabinet back up in here just to get it off the floor. But it, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to rain this weekend and when it do, I'm gonna see if it leak. And if it don't leak, then I'm gonna put that insulation and that one sheet or Luan back up there and I can paint the whole, uh, redo the paint where the cabinet was at, where it was screwed to the wall, repaint the ceilings, touch up all the paint. We might even change the color, all depending on what mama wanna do. But another thing that we're doing is we add an air conditioner. Now, a lot of y'all don't understand what I'm doing, how he got a window unit sitting in the middle of the floor. Well, once we make the full size bed, which I'll show you in a later video, the air conditioner is going to be actually under the bed, sticking out at the edge, and the box that I got built is actually a, um, a shroud, which I have the vents cut down through the floor where the air conditioning is going to suck fresh air up to the floor <clears throat> and then I'm going to duck it out through the back I'm going to duck it out so that it'll go out the hot air and it had a small, a small soft spot in the floor so I just went ahead and replaced this whole back section being that I was going to be uh, cutting into it and so now, what we actually have is a solid camper. The whole floor is solid now. Uh, hopefully, the leak is fixed. Uh, we'll know that when it rains. Um, we got it cleaned out pretty much. Uh, I'll show y'all the rest of it at a later date. We're still working on it. But uh, my wife wants to stain this butcher block type of stuff. And like I said, the TV... Is going to go up on a uh, swivel. And now y'all drop down in the comments and let me know something. Mama say that TV ain't big enough. Now, of course, in the house, our bedroom TV is bigger than that. What y'all think? Tell me what Built on the Budget need to do. If I get enough, I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Uh, but mama didn't want to get on camera today. She done worked hard today, so I ain't got to. Do you want to say anything to the family? Hi, guys. We are working on the project, so we appreciate your comments and maybe some suggestions, and we appreciate you guys. I, I hope y'all heard that. She's in one of them. She don't want to talk today moves, but, uh, uh, like I said, I know I had a lot of interest in what we were doing with this camper. Uh, we wanted the vintage look. We bought a vintage camper. We want to kind of keep it looking that way. Uh, we want to make it like what we want it to be that's going to suit our needs. And so uh, a full-size bed. Uh, air conditioning, a table, a stove, a refrigerator, microwave, it goes up there, it's in here, and all of that, uh, it got water hooked up, and, you know, she ain't gonna have to go outside to pot it, but uh, it's gonna be poured, I'll pour them. <laughs> yeah, we got to buy one of them. Uh, and the technology in them is so new now. And look, you only need it when you need it. You know, if your bowels is loose, you might not even need to be on a camping trip. 
Because they're going to kick you somewhere away from the camper and mess up your underwear. So, I mean, you know, uh, we're going we're gonna to be camping. It's going to have some luxury, but that's what we got. Miss Built on the Budget corrected me. She said, we're going to be glamping, glamping. All right. Like I said, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a 1960 fireball. Uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit more. Uh, put my, my other wheels back on and possibly paint them to match the, the truck. Do a lot of cleaning up on it. I, I want to get these uh, graphics painted on here at least this weekend if the weather hold out. And uh, once I, they get on there, I can work around that. Still got to do a little work on the lights, the seven-way plug, because the camper actually have uh, trailer brakes on it. So, you know, I, I was excited about getting the, uh, the leak stopped and getting the floor fixed. And now it's time to beautify it a little bit and give mama what it is she wants. So, hey, I didn't want to keep y'all too long. Uh, just wanted to show y'all that built on the budget laying out some graphics and hopefully it'll be something, man, that's going to turn out nice. So, until the next video, um, it's your boy built on the budget, Miss Built on the Budget. She's in the camper right now. Uh, it's our hangout spot. And once I get, listen, once I get that air conditioning going, we're going to spend the night down here. Believe that. We're going to spend the night in this Johnson. To the next one, it's your boy Bill saying peace.